Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about the tides are turning against Alpha Investment. This is something I've seen happen before with Anthony Farrar, and obviously he is currently in jail. My other channel is doing extremely well. If you want to give it a look, LUS. And we cover situations kind of similar to Alpha Investments, right? where it's a pump and dump. Uh, in Anthony's case, he was trying to pump a GP, trying to pump watches up and kind of worked for a little bit of time, but eventually people became wiser. I do think the Rolex and the AP, because of given how expensive these items are, they're anywhere between 10,000 at the very low end of a Rolex all the way up to millions for a richer mill or a really, really nice AP. So uh, they're, they tend to be smarter than the typical Magic the Gathering investor or Meta Zoo investor, no offense to them, but very few of them are ever going to own a nice Rolex. And yes, I own a nice Rolex. Now, on top of this, uh, one thing that I want to make really, really clear is when you have intelligent people, they are going to really not love what's happening with the market. And I, one example of this where people are actually uh, finally realizing that something is happening is the dumps, right? Before the MetaZoo dump and the Flesh and Blood dump, Rudy and the Amazon dumps, these are viewed by Rudy and his community as incredibly negative, right? And... You know, when Rudy does a dump, like a MetaZoo dump, uh, he'll call it Shrew the Ages and he'll have a Rudy promo. And this will be viewed incredibly positive as, oh, Rudy is trying to help the patrons out, which is not the way that Rudy views the Amazon dumps. Uh, Rudy views the Amazon dump as, hey, the local game store is going bankrupt. But when Rudy dumps something, the local game store is never mentioned uh, at all. So these local game stores are in trouble, and MVP obviously sells a lot. They sell a lot, but they are a local game. They're not. They're they're not different from my local game store, but they are very different from Rudy. They offer a place to play. They offer a community. They have thousands of players through the ten plus years they've run Magic events. This is what Magic the Gathering is about. Magic the Gathering is not buying pallets from a dude online that you've never met who doesn't give a shit about you. It is about the community aspect. And I buy cards and from people and we have a good conversation and they just want to talk about their collection, why they're getting out, and you know pieces of their collection that are more valuable to them than just money. The one other thing I will say about Rudy is uh, very unflattering to him is that the smarter people the people at the $100 level they write me emails all the time um, it's clear to me that they have turned on him and they realize that this investment over the last two to three years has been bullshit and they shouldn't be buying cases of cards they never open they're buying 20 30 boxes of modern horizon 20 30 boxes of war to spark dominaria remaster you name it they have it and instead of having, you know, one or two boxes, which would be normal, they have 20, 30, 40, 50 boxes. Because um, you look at these sets, Midnight Hunt, Streets of New Compenna, Crimson Vow, AFR, Uninfinity, Dominaria United, Uninfinity, right? They're, uh, and especially these collector's editions, right? They're not very valuable, um, and to be quite frank from you, the collector's editions are very, very bad right now. But Rudy won't mention that. He only mentions when it goes up. So the there's a disconnect. I think the disconnect is really obvious. He wants to sell product. Um, he wants to sell as much as possible. But instead of selling it, let's say he has 10,000 the Ravnica remastered collector boxes. His model is actually very smart. Instead of finding 10,000 people interested, which would be difficult, he finds 100 people who will all buy uh, 100 of these boxes, and they get stuck holding the bag. And he's good. He's Gucci, right? He's Gucci. 
You see what he did with MetaZoo. You saw what he tr attempted to do with Flesh and Blood. And the reason he won't talk about Locana. Locana doesn't need him. This is Disney IP. Any game that does not need Rudy is not going to use Rudy. Because they understand... I mean, look at what happened to Arjun Saga. Look at what happened to Force of Will. Look at there, There's other games that Rudy does not mention anymore. Which are actually much worse off than MetaZoo right now. Arjun Saga, for instance, I think is bankrupt. Or there's no longer going. It's a dead card game, I believe. Somebody correct me if that is incorrect. He, he promoted that with Flesh and Blood and so on. For every one promotion he'll make... For every, let's say, two promotions, one of the games will probably still be around. The other game will die. Uh, that's what we saw with MetaZoo, which was the Pokemon equivalent. And then uh, Flesh and Blood, which is the, quote, magic equivalent. People are upset. Um, people are mad. You can read it from his comment sections. And let's just kind of say what it is. Rudy hates products that Rudy cannot make money from. And Magic 30th was that product. He had just sold a mystery pack, repack for $700. That probably the average, if you look at the average pack today, maybe less than $100 uh, if the redemptions aren't expired, right? Um, who, like, and that's the crazy part. The boxes, Rudy's all about boxes going up in value in time, but his redemption had like a one-year expiration date on there or something like that. So therefore, you couldn't really hold the box sealed because the big hit would have been expired already. I've heard many rumors that Rudy is just absolutely blocking everyone left and right that he can. And things are not so as well as they appear. He wants everyone to appear that he wants everyone to think Wizard of the Coast is doing a fantastic job. Uh, so they can sell more around the gun. It's a limited, limited, he said. Uh, how many times have you heard it could be limited run? Well, since Throne of the Eldraine, nothing has been limited, my buddy. Absolutely nothing has been limited. Um, and the model is simple. He sells you the garbage and he holds on to the good stuff. Right? That's the model um, he's always had. And his uh, fans, you know, I mean, I just blocked them all because what's the point, right? They are never going to understand. They're always going to go bankrupt. Um, I find the Rolex and AP and the Watts community a lot, a lot smarter than the Magic the Gathering community. A, probably because they have more money. B, probably their business owners, right? And so on. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I do believe that um, I do believe that uh, a lot of people are now anti Rudy. I see it in my likes. I see my views. I see he's actually lost subscribers recently. His uh, mythical free six nine dropped to free six eight at one point in time. I don't know if it's back up again, but uh, subscribers. Uh, but it's not looking good for him.